this is very interesting yes i don't know but i just love this you're welcome back to my channel let's solve this using two different methods all right so the first one we are going to note that 8 is 2 to the power of 3 that is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 right yeah so we are going to replace 8 with 2 to the power of 3 so we write 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x is equal to the square root of 16 root this is 8 2 to the power of 3 all right now 16 is 2 to the power of 4. Yes. So we write 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 4 root 2 to the power of 3. Now note that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n okay so that means that we can write this as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by x is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 4 root 2 to the power of 3 Okay, I'm going to be taking this step by step so that even if you don't understand my accent from what I'm writing, you will also understand what I'm doing. Okay, that is why I'm taking it step by step and I'm writing down every single step. All right, so now we have 2 to the power of 3 times x is 3x is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 4 root 2 to the power of 3. Now, note that square root of a is equal to a raised to the power of half. Okay? So, that means that we can write this as 2 to the power of 3x is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of half. Now we have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by half. Remember this rule, okay? Yeah. So we have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 over 2. I don't know if you can still see this well. All right. Now, please, this is the first method. We are not done with that yet. And the second method is very interesting, very fast and very interesting. If this is the first time you have seen this lovely channel, yes, click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss us. I also don't want to miss you, okay? So I'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Give us a thumbs up if you actually love what we are doing. If you don't, tell us what you are not doing well on the comment section. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Thank you all. All right. Now, see, this is, this is where we are. And at this point, a law comes to my mind. And this particular exponent law states that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Okay? So that means we have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to the square root of, we pick 1, 2, right, since they are multiplying, and we add the powers 4 plus 3 over 2. So we have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of this 4 over 1. Now the LCM of 4 and 2 is 2. 1 divided 2 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 divided 2 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to the square root of 2 to the power of 11 over 2. Okay? 
All right. So we have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 2 to the power of 11 over 2 raised to the power of half. Yes. Remember that square root of a is equal to a to the power of half. So we'll write this as 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 2 to the power of 11 over 2 multiplied by half. We are almost there. Yeah, almost there. And like I said, the second method is the fastest and the most interesting. So I would like you to watch to the end and see that. All right. Okay. Now we have, sorry, this is wet. So I need to clean it all. Okay. So we continue. We have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 2 to the power of 11 times 1 is 11 over 2 times 2 is 4. Now remember that a to the power of m, if a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, so this implies that m is equal to n. Okay? So that means that 3x is equal to 11 over 4. Now let's cross multiply. 3x times 4 will give us 12x is equal to 11. Now we divide both sides by 12. So if we do that, we have 12x equals 11 divided by 12 divided by 12. Now 12 we divide 12, we have x is equal to 11 over 12. And that is the answer using the first method. Now I'd like you to wait and watch the second method. The second method and the most interesting method. Okay, first we square both sides. Okay, square both sides. So if we do that, we have a to the power of x squared is equal to the square root of 16 root 8 squared. Okay? So remember the rules. So I'm not going to be writing out the rules anymore. So this will give us 8 to the power of 2 times x, which is 2x, is equal to... Now, square root of a squared is a, right? That means this, we remove this, and we have 16 root 8. Now, we still have square root, so let's square again. Okay, so square both sides again. If we do that, we have a to the power of 2x squared is equal to 16 root 8 squared. All right. So now we have 8 to the power of 4x is equal to, when you have a multiplied by b, all squared, this is equal to a squared multiplied by b squared. So that means that what we we'll have here is 16 squared multiplied by root 8 squared. So we have x to the power of 4x is equal to 16 squared multiplied by, this we remove this and we have 8. Now let's put everything in the same base, everything. So this is 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 4x is equal to 16 is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2 and 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Yes, now we have 2 to the power of 12x is equal to 2 to the power of 8. That is 4 times 2 is 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3. Like I said, I'm not going to be writing the steps again. We have done most of them in the other, the other method. So we have 2 to the power of 12x is equal to... Now because they are the same, they are multiplying each other, we pick one base... And we add the powers 8 plus 3. 
okay now we are going to prove that what we got is correct and i think that is the most interesting aspect of this video yeah so don't miss that all right so since they share the same base then their powers are equal so we have 12x is equal to 8 plus 3 12x is equal to 11 now we divide both sides by 12 and we have that x is equal to 11 over 12. It's time to prove that our answer is correct. Now let's go ahead and do that. Thank you so much if you watch to this level. It shows that you are very interested in what we are doing. If you have not given us a thumbs up, I think this is the right time to do that so that you don't forget. All right? Okay. So let us prove that the answer we got is right. So let's verify. We have 8 to the power of our x is 11 over 12 is equal to the square root of 16 root 8, right? All right. So we have 8 to the power of 11 over 12 is equal to this same thing as 16 root 8 raised to the power of half, right? Yeah. So we have 8 to the power of 11 over 12 is equal to 16 is 2 to the power of 4 and root 8 is 8 to the power of half, right? Everything raised to the power of half. So we have 8 to the power of 11 over 12 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 8 is 2 to the power of 3, okay? 2 to the power of 3 and everything raised to the power of half. Okay, this is raised to the power of half as well. So we have 8 to the power of 11 over 12 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 times half is 3 over 2 raised to the power of half. So we have 8 to the power of 11 over 12 is equal to 2 we pick one base and we add the powers. 4 plus 3 over 2 raised to the power of 5. So we have 8 to the power of 11 over 12 is equal to 2 to the power of... We solve this and we got 11 over 2, right? Yeah, that is what we got. 11 over 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now, we have 8 to the power of 11 over 12 is equal to... 2 to the power of, we multiply this, 11 times 1 is 11, 2 times 2 is 4. All right? Okay, now, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, right? So we can reduce this to 2 to the power of 3, raised to the power of 11 over 8, over 12, sorry, is equal to 2 to the power of 11 over 4. Okay? So 3, we divide this, we have 4. So we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 11 over 4. And that is correct. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.